Hi, my name is Jim Green, and I'm a gunsmith. The name of my shop is Gunworks, town of Harrington in down east Maine. Today's rifle we're going to disassemble for a good clean is the Savage Edge. I like Savage rifles. They're some of the most accurate right out of the box, and they're easy to work on. Now, before we start taking this rifle apart to give it a good clean, just like everything else, we're going to open the action up, make sure there's nothing in there. Let's remove the magazine. Set that off to the side. Now, with these Savage rifles, to get the bolt out is pretty simple. Make sure the, the gun is on fire. Pull the ball away until she stops. Pull the trigger. Push down on this little lever right over here. And just pull the bolt right out. Okay. You can remove the stock if you want to. Pop these little screws here and here. Pull the barrel away from the stock and you can give it a good cleaning. But we're going to concentrate on the bolt. Just like with anything else, I tell you, don't start messing with the trigger assembly. This ain't Gunsmithing 101. Now, to get these Savage bolts apart, they're really simple. You see a little bolt cam right here? Just pull that over until it clicks and uh, the firing pin goes forward. Take your Allen wrench that will fit into the back of the bolt piece right here. Break that loose. You can see how it's starting to turn? Now, if you really make a mistake and you don't get this little bolt cam and uh, tipped over and down to get all the tension off the firing pin spring, you're going to have parts flying across the room. So what I like to do is I'm taking these apart is I'll grip it like this and just turn that loose back there. And remove that. Alright, now you can reach up here and pull this bolt handle off. Now, the firing pin spring on these guns, if you pull that out, you notice a little piece right here sticking up? That's what's going to hold your bolt cam pin in place. Once that firing pin springs out, just pull the bolt cam pin out, then remove your firing pin. You take a little pin punch, you notice that there, there's a two-piece bolt head and body here on the Savages. Just push this little pin through, then you can remove the bolt body, this little washer right here, and then your little lock and shoulder. Pretty simple to take apart to clean. Now how often do you need to do this? Not really that often. But, if you shoot as much as I do and you get some gunk and gum and grime down in there, it's probably a good idea to keep it clean. Now we're going to put this gun back together, or this at least the bolt right here. So let me explain the way this thing goes back together. There's a couple of things you need to keep in mind. Alright, you'll notice on these savages, how you got a little small lug right here and a large lug on this opposite side. Notice there's a little bit of a bevel right there. You want to put that forward. Okay. Also, you want your little locking lug over here on the opposite side from the extractor. When you go to put your uh, washer back in place, you'll notice it's uh, got a little C shape to it or a little concave, convex shape. That little rounded part goes forward. Alright, now you look at your bolt body, it'll say Savage on it. That one you want to have facing up. You want your extractor claw facing to the right hand side as you're looking down it. Just like that right there, there's your extractor claw, there's where it says Savage. Now when you're putting the little pin back in, you'll notice there's a hole in the middle of that pin. That's where your firing pin goes. So you want to line that up when you put that back in there, so the firing pin will go through it. Probably a good idea to look down there and see if you got any daylight. Yep, we're good to go. When you go to put your firing pin back in these Savage Edges, you'll notice there's a slot right here on the side. You want that slot to face out on this hole. So you push that in there, you see how it's all lining up? And you turn it till your little bolt cam pin hole comes up. And the cam pin, when you go to put that back in, you'll notice a little notch cut around the center of that. Push it all the way in until it stops. Take your firing pin spring that's got that little leg sticking out, line that up in the slot, 
and push that all the way forward till it locks over top of your bolt cam pin. Now, keeping the word savage pointing up, take your bolt handle, you'll notice two locking lugs here on the back. And you'll notice how the hole is shaped in the back of the bolt body, or in the bolt handle, I mean. Line that up, push it all the way until it stops, and take your little cap, throw it all back in place. I just hold down on the bolt handle right there and push the wrench away from me until she's nice and snug. Okay, now your bolt's back together, but you can't put it back in the gun like this because the cam pin is not in the right place. So what I'd like to do is look around and find some kind of little hard surface of some kind. At the same time that you're pushing down on this, I guess that hard surface, you'll rotate the bolt until your little bolt cam locks right back into this slot over here on this side. Sometimes this is easier said than done. Now that the cam's locked back into place and the firing pin spring is under tension, now you can put the uh, bolt back into the rifle again. Now, let me explain something real quick to you. In case you get ready to take this apart, you'll notice the little cocking indicator sticking out. That's a pretty good safe bet that, hey, if I don't move that cam pin and lock it, I'm not going to be able to get my Allen wrench in there. To put the bolt back into the rifle, you make sure that your little lugs right here are lined up properly. Get it started, pull the trigger, push down on that little latch, slide your bolt in, lock it down. Pretty simple. Thank you for watching this latest Gunworks video. Down East Gunworks is a full service fire repair service for all your long guns and handguns that includes a high tech machine shop for tooling obsolete parts. Old or new, if you have a firearm that needs attention, Gunworks can probably fix it, solve it, coat it, and make it work. If you're living in Down East, Maine, come by the shop for a visit. We're located on Route 1 in Harrington. If you live elsewhere, you can reach us by going to the website www.downeastgunworks.com or call in the shop at area code 207-483-2175. If you found this video helpful or interesting, please leave me a comment and rate the video. If you subscribe to my YouTube channel, you'll always know when I've posted something new. And thanks again for watching.